imagine this. You're walking down the road thinking about how you have a soapbox speech due in two days, and you don't even have a topic, and it has to be memorized, and there's a geometry test the next day, and a science quiz the next day, and you don't know what you're going to do. When out of the corner of your eye, you see a group of kids you don't really know get off a school bus across the street. You keep walking, but they start walking towards you. You think they're going to do something funny or just introduce themselves or something, right? Yeah, no. They each come up and kick you in the shin as hard as they possibly can. And while you're on the ground cradling your lower appendages, they scream at you, ha ha, gingers, remember 20th, they told me it's kicking ginger day. Ha ha ha. If it isn't obvious, I hate this. I am so annoyed with all the people out there discriminating against redheads. No, we're not all dorks who spend our time reading the encyclopedia. And no, we do not all have glasses. I have contacts. That is completely different. I think I'm just going to start with the extinct issue. I have no idea which bonehead thought this up, but no, we are not in fact all dying out. We are in fact getting larger. I do not need to hook up with a ginger to keep my kind alive so everyone can stop recommending it. Thank you. Secondly, stop making up new diseases. There's nothing like gingerphobia and gingeritis. I am not nearly scary enough to have a phobia about me, and no, I do not have some contagious disease that will spend my gingerness upon you. So, enough. Did you know that throughout history, there have been many famous people with red hair? Queen Elizabeth I of England, Lindsay Lohan sometimes, Daphne from Scooby-Doo, I mean, she was cool, right? King David even had red hair, and not to brag or anything, but he was Jesus' ancestor. Then there's the whole Judas Iscariot being redheaded as well, so I mean, I guess it evens out. Imagine if you tried kicking any of these people on Kick a Ginger Day. If you tried kicking Queen Elizabeth I back then, you'd be burned, or hanged, or beaten with rope made from ginger hair. Not that I personally endorse that one or anything, no, that'd be bad. Um, and if you tried kicking Queen Elizabeth I nowadays, you'd be, sought as, you'd be thought of as crazy, seeing how she's dead and all, and it would not be a good image of you digging up royalty and kicking her bones. If you tried kicking Lindsay Lohan, various things could happen. One, her bodyguard would maul your face. Two, you would get applause from crowds of people. Three, she would fall over because she's unable to effectively keep her balance because of all the stuff she's gotten into. Now, if you tried kicking Daphne, you'd break your TV, and I would get to laugh at you forever. If you tried kicking King David, he could do many things to you. He could slice you into pieces with his sword. He could enslave you, seeing how he's a king. He could cut holes in you with his slingshot. You'd get struck by lightning because God thinks you're stupid. Now, the last one's unlikely, but I'd still be careful. I'm not trying to sound ungrateful for the way God made me. No, I love the way I am. I just want some respect. Think twice before attacking me with those things you call feet, because we do usually sometimes actually sort of have a soul.